Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk about quantum mental, I guess, trading strategy perspective here and why I think it's really dumb. So let's dive on into this. Okay, so let's define quantum mental real quick. I'm going to use uh, analyzingalpha.com because they have a good article and kind of a little statement here at the beginning. It says quantum mental refers to an investing strategy that combines quantitative approaches using computers, mathematical models, and big data with fundamental methods that analyze individual company cash flows, growth, and risk to generate better risk adjusted returns. All right, so I think quantum mental is really a stupid word and a stupid idea, and I'm gonna explain why here. Uh, this creates what I would like to say is more or less just a straw man argument here. That's what they're doing. They're saying, okay, quant finance is all this math and rigor, and they don't consider things like cash flows, they don't consider things like finance or financial theory, right? They're just throwing in machine learning information and boom, stuff comes out the other end. It's a black box, it's unknown, it's too complicated, it's complete garbage. So therefore, we're gonna take all their methodologies, all their theories, all their skills, right? all these stats approaches, and we're gonna apply it to finance, we're gonna do it from a fundamental perspective. Isn't that just applying quantitative finance in an intellectual way? Like, that's what quantitative finance is, right? Quant finance is just a broad definition of taking quantitative methods, so scientific methods, and applying them to finance. And finance's core is centered on cash flow analysis, uh, what else they pay, growth, and risk to generate better risk-adjusted returns, right? Quants don't just go out there and willy-nilly invest in things not considering risk-adjusted returns. Um, yeah, there are more complex strategies and theories behind quant finance. So I'd say quant finance is this massive industry. And then a large piece of that is still based all on the fundamentals and applying it. But again, you can look at things more deeply from a different perspective of statistical analysis, but it all still hinges on fundamental financial ideas and theories. So quantum mental, is it a real thing? Nope, it's not. <laughs> I think it's just a big joke, to be honest with you. Uh, again, it has that straw man argument where it tries to set up quant finance as overly rigorous, not considering fundamentals or actual finance, uh, and being completely ignorant to finance as a whole, and then them essentially taking tools, theories, and things that they like to use or understand and applying it to their jobs and then magically saying like it's a new industry and a new field. Uh, I think it's just dumb. I think it's a fake word. It's a fake industry in, in general. Uh, I think it's the way that the business side is trying to compete with the quant side. So quants can come out, they have good returns, good funds, complex ideas and theories a lot of times. Um, and I think the finance side's realizing that their tools and their side's winning the trading war and the investing war. So now they're starting to borrow things from them. But instead of just giving up and saying, you know what, we should look at this as a finance whole community. Let's all embrace each other and just you know, use what we can to make the best decisions. They're not doing that. They're trying to create this divide where we're traditional finance and we know things better and we do fundamental analysis and fundamental investing. And because of that, uh, we're gonna do quantum mental. So it's fundamentals with quant finance. It's just quant finance. Like, I don't know how else to dice it to you. So anyways, I'm not a fan of this whole ideology and naming things quantum mental. Uh, if anything, it's like a dumbed down version of quant finance, but if it's actually done correctly, so good quant mental funds and firms, again, they're embracing quant finance. It's just quant finance, just more specifically applied to fundamental finance. Uh, no, it's not any different. Uh, somebody asked me, so I'll answer this on here as well. Um, somebody asked me, is it easier to get a job in a quant a mental fund or an internship there than it was to get it at a real quant fund? Uh, the reason for this, and so should you take this internship if it's easier, it's hard to say. Why? Because as I mentioned, there are a lot of business firms, fundamental firms, that are kind of doing quant finance, but not really, and they're trying to use some tools, but they probably don't understand what they're actually doing. So they're bringing that into their fund and using it. So are you a quant? Probably not. It's just like traditional finance firms. So they're trying to find people that kind of have that blend of finance and a lot of finance and a lot of accounting with a little bit of quant on it, like a business analyst kind of role. Um, if that fits you and your personality, it fits your fund, you want to do it in the long run, like go for it, take the internship. If you want to end up in quant finance, uh, I would really dive deep and look at the firm, right? When they say quantum mental, are they using it in this buzzwordy kind of way that I'm talking about where it's like, it's really just fundamental finance with a few extra tools? Or is it really a quant firm who's trying to appeal the opposite direction to the finance and business people and are trying to add in there some buzzwords like quantum mental and try to talk about cash flows and do things from a more finance accounting perspective to gain investors? Um, again, research the firm, look at it, right? If you want to hit quant finance, you want to do a really good job here, go with the scientific route of quant finance. It's going to give you a more rigorous background. 
you're yes, you're going to use fundamentals in finance. You're going to use financial theory. You're going to use stats theory, math theory, stochastic calculus. You should use everything under the sun that you can. Why limit yourself? So again, even using machine learning and AI and data science tools, use your entire toolbox here. Don't pigeonhole yourself and I don't know, try to like only learn specific areas. It's not smart. But anyways, those are my thoughts. That's why I don't think quantum mental is a real thing. That's why I think it's a joke and just a marketing ploy by the business side. But anyways, thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.